What is going on guys? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I actually wanted to share with you guys a really cool but interesting easter egg on the map, the giant on Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now this easter egg hasn't led us anywhere so far, but I definitely do think that it has the potential to bring us onto something bigger. Uh, because it is so random and it, it's such a weird spot and there's really no conclusion to it. So I just I wanted to bring it up in a video and see what you guys think. Um, but this is actually located in the same spot as the two brick easter eggs. It's in the garage. Um, and it's actually in the corner across from the furnace where you complete Samantha Says or uh, the Hide and Seek with the Teddy Bears. Um, but there is a corner where if you walk in the corner you can literally hear a little girl crying. Everyone assumes that it is Samantha. I mean, who else would it be? Samantha's the only little girl in this whole zombie storyline. Um, but for some reason, in this corner, you can hear Samantha crying. And it's so strange because I've spent so much time walking around the map trying to find other locations to see if I could hear her crying. And it's in this corner. This is the only place you can hear her. Now, there's also, there's like a mini wall where you can go on the other side back into the actual garage and you can stand in that corner by the barrels and you can still hear it very clear. So it's hard to tell whether which side of the wall it's on or if it's in the room behind the wall where the zombies come out of. But it's such, it's so strange, like it doesn't make any sense. I've looked all around, um, I've gone in theater mode, there are no radios anywhere. At first I thought maybe it was a radio that was playing her voice crying. Um, there is no radio, there's no, there's no interactive, interactable objects that I could find. Um, one thing that I thought maybe is if I played Samantha Says, aka the hide and seek with the teddy bears, that if I completed that she would stop crying, and that's why she was crying is because she wanted somebody to play with. But I did that, I did everything, and that was not the case. I threw monkey bombs, grenades, I shot everything. Nothing seemed to work, and I honestly have no idea uh, what we'll be able to do. There's a, In the cutscene, when you first start the giant, if you watch the entire cutscene, you can actually hear when Rick Toffin locks Samantha and Dr. Maxis in the teleporter, you can hear her crying in basically the same tone. It's basically the exact same audio. Um, but what's really weird though is that he locked him in a teleporter and this little area that we're in is not anywhere near the teleporter And it's very strange that you can only hear it in this corner It almost leads me to believe that she's she's like survived and she's like hiding there somewhere or hiding behind one of the I don't know. It's very weird. I don't know why it would only be in this corner I was looking around if you guys want to take a look to see if you can find maybe a device or something that would um, give us a lead on why she would be crying in that corner or something. There's been a lot of speculation. There's been people that have said that some of the the smoke or the blood on the wall actually looks like Samantha's face, um, which I don't, I mean, I guess if you look really hard and you believe enough, then it would, but it doesn't really look that obvious. I don't think that would be what it actually is, but uh, it's very interesting to, to see this and to really think about what this means if this could lead to something else. But anyway, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now we